Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the array function has every element, which finds if uh, every element in an array matches an expression or a group of expressions that you define. So let's go ahead and look at it in a quick example. Right now, I'm just querying a very simple uh, table from my database, and that's stuff. And you can see I'm calling it this variable array. When we ret return this, we see we just have uh, name of a, of a stuff, <laughs> description, and it looks like I'll say user ID. So let's go ahead and go to our function stack, go to data manipulation, and then let's find the array functions. And then near the bottom, we, has, we have has every element. So let's go ahead and select that. So first and foremost, we just select an existing variable in our function stack that is an array. In this case, mine is called variable array. So I'll just go ahead and select that. And now we go into the, this expression builder where we're gonna use the dollar sign this variable to search through each iteration of the array. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the dollar sign this variable, not my array variable. And now because my array happens to be an object, I might wanna go ahead and use dot notation to actually search, search through a certain field. So I might say name. And if I go ahead here and say apple, because I know one of my uh, names in my array is called apple and hit save and let's just go ahead and I'm just going to call this result variable match here and let me go ahead and just return my new variable so if I run this because we're looking for every element we're going to see a false value okay so this is a little bit different than if we go to data manipulation in arrays uh, has any element so has el any element would return a true value in that case because we're just looking for uh, one single match element or if any element matches it's true just at least one right but has every element requires everything in the array or in this expression to match so what we might want to do to return a true value here is i can add a filter here and i might say something like is text okay so this all this is looking through is looking through all of the uh, iterations of name the name field of my array and seeing if it's text, which I know it is. And I can set that to true here. So if I go ahead and update all that, let's just hit save there. And if I run this, this will now be a true value because I know that each iteration of name in my array is actually text. So hopefully that's useful. Um, the has every element is really great for conditional logic if you need to apply some kind of logic based on if every element in your array matches some sort of expression or group of expressions. You can do X, Y, and Z or else ABC. So uh, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.